Hi, my name is Cheryl Estevillo and I am the Professional Development Specialist for It's All About Kids. In this tutorial, I will show you how easy it is to set up your active work. To begin, let's take a look at the hardware. With this mounted setup, you have your Active Board 300 Pro Series. You have a PRM30 short throw projector with remote control. And you have two sets of teacher and student active pens. To set up and connect your computer, let's take a look at the white input output box found on the side of the board. There are two cores that you should plug in. The VGA cord will connect your computer to the projector it should be plugged into the computer one port. The USB cord will connect your computer to the board and should be plugged in to the last port on the input output box. Plug the ends of these two cords into the ports on your computer. Since we plugged our VGA cord into the Computer 1 port, we'll also want to make sure that Computer 1 is selected here to the right. Now let's take a look at the sound control panel found on the left side of your board. You'll want to press down on the on standby button until it turns green to activate your speaker system. Now that you have your cords plugged in, the next step is to power on your projector. To power on your projector, simply press the power button on your remote control. Once the projector is up and running, you will come across a screen that looks like this. What you'll need to do is use your down arrow to select Project Computer, and then go ahead and press the Select button. Your desktop should now appear on the board by default. If your board is not detecting the display, Windows users will need to press the function F7 button two times, while Mac users will need to check their display settings under System Preferences. You are now ready to use the board. The first thing that you'll want to do is calibrate your board. Notice that when I put my pen to the board, the arrow is not on point. Calibrating aligns my pen tip with the arrow. To calibrate, I'm going to hover my pen tip to this white Promethean flame at the top left corner. Notice that it turns blue. And note that when I hover, I'm not touching the flame. I'm simply putting it close to that flame until it turns blue. And you notice that you get this white screen that says click on the surface to begin. I'm going to go ahead and click on the surface. And now I'm going to click on the center of these five crosshairs. Now, notice that when I put my pen to the board, it is directly on point. You are now calibrated. Now that we've successfully calibrated our board, let's go ahead and check out the Active Inspire program. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the shortcut found on my desktop. As you can see, the Active Board now becomes my computer. The Active Pen now becomes my mouse. The first screen that I get is called the dashboard. The dashboard gives me options as to whether I want to create a new flip chart, open an existing one, or if I already created lessons using PowerPoint, I can easily use their import from PowerPoint feature. I'm going to go ahead and create a new flip chart. And I'm going to go ahead and close the dashboard. What we have here now is our flip chart page. To the right, you'll see our main toolbar, which gives us access to various tools. We'll go ahead and explore some of the basic tools that will help you get started using Active Inspire. Let's start off with the pen tool. I'm simply going to press on the pen tool, and now I can select colors from this color palette here. So let's say I want to select the color red. Okay. Now I'm ready to write on the board. When I write on the board, I want to make sure that I'm pressing firmly on the board. Okay, so there's my writing. Let's say I want to change colors. 
I can simply go to the color palette, and this time, I want to make my annotation or my writing a little thicker. What I can do here is if you notice, I have four dot sizes. These represent the pen thicknesses. I'm going to go ahead and select the last one. And now I'm going to go ahead and write. If you notice, my pen thickness has increased. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and select another color. And let's say I want, I want thicker. What I'm going to do is now, instead of selecting between these four dots, I also have this slider here that I can slide to any point. Let's say I want it right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and write. If you notice, my pen is a lot thicker. This is your basics of using the pen tool. Let's say now I want to rewrite the word welcome. I made a mistake. What I can do is I'm going to select the eraser tool and I can simply erase my annotation. Okay? Now I'm going to go back and let's say I wanted it thicker. So let's pick on that last dot and go ahead and write welcome again. Okay? So you see how the eraser can erase your pen marking. 